Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and welcome back to our continuing playthrough of Republic. Uh, last time we wandered around the brig area and got out of it just ever so slightly going into the um, dorm area. And that's where we sort of left off, but I was not very good at discovering which doors were open and which ones were not, so... Uh, we're going to turn right around and go right back to the brig. So, let's do that. And we'll see if we can pick up the pace a little bit, just so that we're not sort of waiting for five minutes for guards to shift and go where they need to go, so that we can get by silently. See what happens. All right, Hope, just wait there. I gotta go scout ahead. There's our Pizrak White. Scouting out the same two places he had before. All right, this is our chance. Let's sneak and get in here. Um, whoops. Oh no, Pizrak. They want to run. Oh no. Get away, get away, get away! Ah, take that. Alright, let's move Hope. <laughs> so that we're not screwing up any more than we already have. Uh, come on, where is it, where is it? Alright, that camera. Because that's the door I want to get into. Uh, it was going to one of our containment areas where we can recharge our phone. And that's primarily what I wanted to do. Hey, we're in. Could have done this half an hour ago, but we can recharge here. You know, it's me. All right, phone is charged up. We're good to go. And while we're here, we'll check out this data broker terminal. I didn't know if where we upgrade. Oh, not the P zero. Nice. I don't know where we upgrade our phone, but I'm hoping we can get some upgrades at the same time here, so... What would you like? Oh, I would like... Yeah, let's go with the scan email. Nice. And that's all I can afford for now, so let's go out, because I know there were a couple stations in this immediate area that I can start picking up emails from. And then we can lock the door and leave Hope in here. No, just kidding. Uh, but we'll get her back on pit pocket because I'd rather pick stuff up from guards than keep spraying them with pepper spray. Good idea. My battery was getting low. Good idea. My battery was getting low from being all full. Yep, there we go. First email. observed you spending a great deal of time in the library recently. Perhaps I should ask the librarian about these indiscretions. You'll find those in the indiscretion Did section. Give you the poisoned manifesto. If not him, child, then who? It was the butler with the Fetch. candlestick in the kitchen. I have been put here to shepherd you. But you must accept that help, or we will both face the consequences. You first, Morale. Okay, well that's our first of probably many interesting uh, emails to be littered throughout this complex. So let's see if we can't find some others. I know there was a couple here before as well. Get out of here. Oh, wait. Aha! This email was sent more than a month ago. The pre-cal in question, 933W, is still at large. 
And it sounds like this librarian fellow is an interesting one. Yeah, that's nice. All right, on to the next. It seems the librarian has been flagged for suspicion of distributing the poisoned manifestos. I hope the girl finds him before Derringer does. That girl has a name. It's 290H. Jeez, Cooper. Uh, all right, cool. Got all that we need to get from there. So let's see if we can't move on. But before we get too far away, let's see. Uh, yeah, back in here. So those emails, oh, yep, I can sell them off. Good, so at least I can make some money back that way. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, let's get this as well. Boom, got it. All right. That may be the best one to get of the last two. Although predict would be interesting as well. But no more money, so let's get on going. Oh, look at what we have here. Gentlemen, I am not going to explain this to you again. Mireille Prudeau can him and haul all she wants, but that is not in charge of security. Language, we run a family-friendly show here. You transfer copies of the children's fingerprints to my secure server, or you can consider yourself reassigned to the graveyard shift. Oh, sweet deal, Bob. Out of busy time and don't have to put up with that idiot. All right, looks like we've completely gotten all the stuff we needed added here, so... Yeah, I want to hit that station real quickly, so let's move Hope over here. Oh, concern it. All right, let's do some strategic positioning. I have a feeling, yep, yeah, he'll come in the door. Where'd she I'll go? Find I'll find you. Oh, must have been my imagination. Well, back to my patrol. <laughs> of course, I like how these guys patrol is literally three feet, look in a direction, turn around, walk three feet, look in another direction. Eh. Simpler times. Anyway, let's get moseying. All right, let's check out this camera. Oh, lots of good stuff for us. This is Quinn Derringer. We've had another instance of someone screwing with the generator over at the power station. I ordered that fingerprint reader installed a week ago. I want it done today. Is that understood? Call me back when you get this. And I suggest you give me the news I want to hear. And quit screwing the generator. I mean, screwing with the generator. The security checkpoints in this facility are always evolving. Yesterday, pin codes were all the rage. Today, it's fingerprint and iris scans. Tomorrow, it will be blood. Next week, your soul. Not surprisingly, the Prizrak who wrote this is no longer with us. I mean, who starts an email with, hey, man? Okay, I think enough time has been wasted around this section, so let's continue on and see if we can't make any more progress. Keep on going. I mean, what are they going to do? Catch me again? Pah. Oh, time to look at these monitors. Yep, still the same. Go, go, go. Don't run this time. 
Yeah, I know that was my mistake, but still. I can't blame the main game character. Who can I blame, really? All right, back in the atrium. But we are just passing through quickly, so let's do that. Okay, back at the dorms, and let's get all going. That's right, all's quiet. Nothing to report. Geller, Paul. Take a look around. Now I'm going to start to get in the lay of the land. Settle down, children, settle down. I am as anxious as you are to acquaint myself with Miss Prideau. She is a most welcome addition to our republic. And to that end, I would like to present her and all of you with this small gift, a symbol of longevity and the relationships we look forward to watching take root. Thank you so much, Headmaster. As one who will be so singularly focused on the well-being of these young, bright minds, I am truly humbled. I cannot express how sincerely I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. For torturing, I mean studying. I wonder what this mystery room with no camera feed could be. A Zager safe room, perhaps? Well, maybe we'll find out a little bit later, won't we? Prizrak, I just received an alarming message that 933W was seen leaving the library wearing one of our uniforms. He may be heading back your way to find that girl he's been crushing on. Notify me immediately if the actions of any of our agents seem in the least bit suspicious to you. Zager's secret compound discovered. Inside the rat hole, sources say pornography, drugs everywhere. Zager almost certainly had other hiding spots. Even Derringer suggested as much to me the other night in a, uh, interview? I'm not printing this, of course. Makes him look bad. Makes them all look bad. You can't be perceived as having crack security when a crackpot is living in your walls rent-free. Well, that just means that the crack security and the crackpot are just having crack cocaine. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, let's see what we can... Where should we go first? Let's... Where is the Gurg going to go first? That will determine where we go. NTR. NTR. Nothing to report, in case anyone didn't know. Of course, looking at the wall, would hope that there's nothing to report. So let's get into the room at least. No sign of the pre cow. Nope, no sign of pre cow. Keep doing your due diligence of walking back and forth, that's fine. Like you said, nothing to see here. Like there's something on the shelf. It's another P0. Probably can't. Nope. Can't pick up. 
I've exhausted my pocket slots. So let's go. We'll get Morning. ourselves nicely tucked away in here. Okay, so we're not actually supposed to be going this way, but that's fine. We you can just investigate this room quickly and then hit that yellow marker, which is our objective. Not a problem. Ah, another confinement room. That's fine. We can hide in here. Recharge the phone that's still already full. There are many alcoves within Metamorphosis. Each one a perfect fit for a precal who wishes to remain unseen. You know, with all the signs that they have up in this place, I'm wondering why they don't catch the precal when they actually do these things. All right, nice little, lots of little stuff that I can grab. Like? Can't buy anything yet, but that's fine. That'll just be ready for when I do. Still can't do anything with hope in these sections, so that's fine. Good idea. We can recharge here. Good idea. We can recharge. And maybe, as you can see, um, the range of my phone determines which cameras I can hit at any given time, so I'm limited to where Hope is currently standing, so... Everything looks good. Everything looks good at this desk. Nothing for me to see here. Yeah, let's get Hope back into her position so we can go back out into the main dorm hallway, or entrance, I guess you could say. Oh. Did not expect him to turn around right there, so already he's sort of diverting from his normal path of walking around the room. That could have been trouble if I kept walking that way. I think I was intending on going behind the desk again. He would just turn right around and saw me. All right. Nothing, nothing to see here. Switch cameras. Okay, and let's go into the far side. Yes, Hope, I know your pockets are small. Gee, this guy is really diverting his path all over the place, so... He wasn't walking this way before. And now he stopped. Dude, what are you doing? And now he's coming right back the other way. <laughs> well, it's making it interesting to sort of navigate through this room. That's more than I can carry. All right, let's go. Oh, lots of stuff that we can see here. Zager's poisoned manifestos. More fuel for the fire. Burn ASAP. Who's a sap? What? What is this? Mon Dieu. Banning the children's access to such fundamental literature was not enough. Now he believes these books have been smuggled into the domes. 
Please let the headmaster know that I shall investigate this, despite his suspicions being not only unwarranted, but mildly insulting. Madame, do you really want me to tell him that? All but the last part. Hmm, scratch that. Only the last part. The girl should be extra careful going forward. Looks like Mirei knows she has escaped from the brig. Mirei's liberal arts education is of little benefit in this crushing environment. I wonder if she would even recognize her former, idealistic self. Alright, well, I can't get through either of these doors anyway, but we can take a look-see and... Purdue... Oh! So you're just sitting there reading a book? Good for you. A cell phone charger. Worthless without the phone, but no less dangerous as contraband. Nice 40-pin adapter there. Try and get a little bit further, but uh, I have a feeling we'll be coming back this way anyway at some point, so maybe we'll save uh, investigating that room a little bit later for uh, for a later episode. For now, next room. Okay, so now we got our hallways. Investigate a little bit. Three nine zero H. My dear, my inspiring pupil. I know you're not accustomed to some trinket. It is a secret between you and I, and it cannot be shared until we are both ready. So I will keep the key for safekeeping until the two of us agree to open it together. Until then, I hope you will treasure its beauty as much as I do you. And when you gaze upon it, I hope your thoughts will be of me. Oh, oh I just feel dirty hearing that. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this... <laughs> hey, fishy. You hungry? Here you go. What does the world look like to you? Fishy, I'll tell you a secret. I like a boy who lives on the other hall. The one we call Weep. He sits beside me in history class and he's adorable. I'm too shy to talk to him. But not too shy to call a complete stranger on a stolen cell phone. Pyramid flags flutter in the wind. His voice carries above them. Singing a promise to lead these men to honor, protect, and love them. From his garden perch, he keeps us secure against the forces of evil. He spares our minds the hollow allure and fraud of Zager's upheaval. The Republic stands and will for all time, safe from ruin or disaster, because he is watching out for us all. Our noble and wise headmaster. I'll take this. There are few things, Librarian, as disappointing as failed leadership, especially when that leadership fails by giving in to mental illness or desire. Hawthorne came from a line of leaders, but you wouldn't know that by reading his account of Dimsdale. 
The Scarlet Letter would teach our citizens that its leadership can succumb to the weaknesses that we work daily to cure. Such doubt is unacceptable. Where would we be without faith in government? I give this book an A for effort. Okay, and then this is obviously the room where the game just fully started from. So this is Hope's dorm room. This is the girl's room. 390H. Of course, this isn't what she calls herself. Thanks, Cooper. I just finished explaining that this was Hope's realm. Jeez. Uh, okay, and then I guess we'll just continue on and see what else we can find. Maybe the boys' room down the hall. Hmm. Yeah, and if you couldn't tell before, um, most of these IDs are of the Kickstarter backers, and here's one half of the infamous Penny Arcade guys. So... Obviously, they like the game enough for it to get funded. And we'll take a look. Our range is getting a little low over here. Let's see. If we just go back. Yeah, that's where Hope is, so... I'm gonna have to move her up some. This hiding yeah, place let's is hide her in there. Right, nothing to see. I hope they can't see me here. Doesn't seem like they can. Uh, I don't know if enemies are going to get harder as I get into further episodes, but for now, yeah. I don't think they'll be able to see her in there. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Oh, another thing to find. Look what your arrogance has wrought. You are destroying the things that make your life meaningful. You are doing this to yourself. And unless you tell me where you have hidden that manifesto, I will accelerate that which you have already chosen to inflict upon yourself. Please, Rack, take this precal to confinement. No, the precal was trying to tell you that the vase was imperfect and wasn't suitable for this republic. Sending him to confinement unwarranted. Okay, so now that we've checked out this corridor for any of the Prizrak patrolling it, let's head back and see if we can't do a little bit pickpocketing. Get back to where was he? In there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Um, he's not even patrolling. Checking in. He's watching a butterfly. That's all he's doing. Well, at least this will be easy. Let's get Hope out of hiding. The uh, camera switching is a little disorienting when she's uh, on the move like that. Let's see All what right. he's There we go. And oh, a book on book as well. So let's get ourselves to safety. Japan had the sense to try and then find a translator for dragging this garbage into Japanese. Out there beyond our walls. Lady Chatterley's lover has a reputation as sidekick to hormones in adolescent awakenings. Puberty is a delicate time. We need to cultivate it as a plant in a garden. We cannot teach them control 
with this floating around. I assure you, we know better than Lawrence. Headmaster is probably more of a Naruto fan anyway. Lame beer. Those are the guys who made this game. They are like the Coen brothers of the indie game scene. I don't care if they make a game about killing fish with a rusty toaster. I would buy it. Oh wait. That's what Ridiculous Fishing is all about. And he's not wrong. Ridiculous Fishing, I did play through that and it was an awesome little game when, I, when it came out you know, a while ago, I would say. Alright, and... Because I did... Wait, did I? I don't think I pit-pocketed the last guy. That was in the foyer, so... Here I go, more backtracking. Let's see if we can't get this done quickly. If he comes towards me, at least I'll make things easier. Yep, don't notice the girl behind the statue. Alright, let's do it. I will not, I will not see that person to my right. Another successful pickpocket. The developers at Meat Loss Studio say their game is about outer space, but I have a different theory. A mobile game that theory. It's really about the space between us. I imagine they set out to paint a picture of the vast perplexity of the unknown, but when I'm out there, I'm making last ditch efforts to save my ship from destruction, all the while contemplating the loneliness of my own existence. And that may be Cooper's metaphor for this situation as well. Anyway, moving on. Too bad I couldn't check out more of these dorm rooms as we were sort of going up and down the halls. Anyway, there's the, the last guy we got to get through before we clear this section. So we'll see if we can't grab his, grab his cartridge and the book in the room and be on our way. Almost too quiet. Check in. Oops, I thought it was a book. Well, still got it, but can't play it without a recorder or some sort of playback. So we'll just wait here for... Ah, oh, there he comes. Do -de do Recording. Yoink. Got it. Got it. Another quiet night. I hope. Hi, Lewis.
If you find a cassette player, perhaps you could hear what is on it. I remember seeing an old boombox when we ransacked one of Zager's hideout. They call Super Hexagon a Twitch game. I doubt even Doc Holliday had quick enough reflexes for this one. I've never gotten farther than 3.5 seconds. It's intense. I don't know if that's because it gives me vertigo, or because of the ominous lady shouting game over every time I die. Again, hope. Hi again, Lewis. Okay, now I think we can move on. On to the next hallway. Another hallway, another prison wreck. I got the steel pretty quick, but right, let's see what we got. I know this will surprise you, but Buddy and Me isn't about my lifelong friendship with Derringer. Instead, this Kickstarter darling is a whimsical infinite runner, polished to a shine. Set in a dreamy world, this one's big hook is Buddy, a flying companion who assists you as you run, jump, bounce and fly through an enchanted forest. If I had children, this would be one of the first games I'd give them. In Body and Me, everything seems right with the world. Unlike this world. I would add stolen cell phones to that list. Right, so no cell phones through the metal detectors. Got it. Wasn't gonna risk it anyway. Hey, I'm arranging one of the tech crews to run a full diagnostic of the metal detectors in the facility. But I want you to oversee the work on your station personally. There are too many potential hiccups that could be had in the commissary. And with the arrival approaching so quickly, I'm looking to you to shore up the weakest link. If you need any additional resources, you let me know. Oops, that's the wrong camera. The other side of the desk, but and then this, this will be the way we need to go afterwards, I think. Oh, and another door here into another penitentiary uh, holding area. All right, so we got some stuff to investigate here. Not bad. We just have to wait for the guard. Hopefully everything's coming out good. I didn't think the sound quality was overly great with episode one, but I'm still getting used to a uh, new phone that I got, so, you know, Working out the kinks. Okay, let's go. You found me a good spot. Oh. I hope they can't see me. She could have hid there the whole time. Jeez. Yeah. Alright, never mind. We need come on.
Ooh, that was close. So we'll unlock that. You have just found a new battery for the girl's phone. Some OmniView abilities require a battery power and will not work when the girl's phone is not well charged. You will probably find more batteries lying around this facility. You may also recharge the phone at a demon server or inside confinement rooms. I'll be taking this. Okay, so I guess that'll charge up the battery if I need to and I'm not around a charging station. Lots of stuff to sell off here, so let's do that. What would you like? Oh, yeah, and I got enough for the distract option, so unlock that. Leaving so soon. Leaving so soon. Good idea. There's the phone. My battery. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. Yeah, lots of cool stuff to have. Anything. The Green lockers are something we can get items out of, so. I can't carry anymore. You know, if my pockets weren't full already. Cool, so we can come back out. <clears throat> and now we have added options to make distractions if we need to. into a new area. Another Pizrak to steal from. Situation is clear. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see if we can't... He was right behind me. Where'd the girl go? And of course he'll give up the chase and go back to where he goes. So no worries there. So let's press onwards. Just want to see where this guy is going to be roaming to.
right. Nothing. Here in a door, and there's probably a adjacent room that is doing it. And just wait for this guy. Yep, let's go for it. Get a better camera position. There we are. This might come in handy. Got it. I think I got the book on the for the garden counter as well. So let's move over here. I think we'll be in the clear, hidden out of the way, and we can investigate. The body is strange, librarian. Oxytocin and endorphins lead so many to mistake robotic chemical responses for emotional attachments. Worse, though, is what Burroughs promotes. He suggests deviant behavior as a mechanical way around the trappings of societal control. We cannot let people think their bodies are ways around the state. They must exercise the Republique with their bodies in everything they do. Everything. Throw naked lunch in the pile. Do I find it strange that the naked lunch is actually in the commissary or is it a metaphor for something? This game blew me away. It's like they took the scary puzzles from survival horror games and made a whole game about that. The room is a lesson and less is more. Instead of building a big, expensive game your first time out of the gate, I think more studios should take note of fireproof games, build something smart, thoughtful, and simple like the room. And here's where me and Cooper will sort of agree on the same thing. The room is spectacular as far as mobile gaming is concerned. Uh, if you didn't catch my The Room Old Sins playthrough, um, check out my channel and check that out because it was actually quite fun. But I wanted to actually get through playing through the other The Room games um, at some point soon too. Okay, so here's the guy who's probably making noises and sort of his reporting and doors opening from the other side. So I would have been coming through there. We can just sneak in here and boom. Yeah, that sort of door that I'm right in front of would just go right back out to the cafeteria. So let's instead go in here. Oh, box I can't open, but at least I can charge my phone. Good idea. My battery was getting. And I don't think there's anything. Uh, nope, nothing for me to sell. So that is fine. Yeah, Omni two, Omni version two. If the girl needs to circumvent a room full of Prizrak, the vents are a good way to travel. I don't think I've actually... I don't recall using the vents before, but... Like I said, it's been a while since I played this last, so... Anything in the locker? My pockets are nope. He's not useful for me right now. Okay, so we should be done in here. Let's see what he's carrying. Ah, there's the door that keeps opening. All right. Now it's starting to make sense. Yoink. All's quiet here. And I think we 
we should be safe at the end of the tables here. Another game. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention use this game as an educational simulator to show how diseases are spread. Pretty funny, considering the object of the game is to kill everyone in the entire world. That, and you can give your disease funny names like Toxic Doo Doo Syndrome. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of Plague is to just give diseases weird names and have it destroy the world. Uh, well. Especially like the ones that Markiplier gave it uh, when he did uh, his walkthrough of that. Oh, I missed a book in this. Erg. All right. Well, can't move on too quickly. Let's take a look around. I can't get into that glass area either. Oh, another Prizrak. Mr. Justin. And then I guess this is sort of past all that. Okay, back out to where we were, and let's just keep things rolling. Let's see if we can go into here. He's not carrying anything. Another quiet night. There we go, finally. Let me out. What? I said let me out. Can you believe that many regard Whitman, the iconic poet of the American Republic? That alone says enough. This verbal monument to sensuality and excess, you know that no library except Philadelphia would touch it after publication. Reading it is like watching the man stroll naked through the streets. <laughs> I, too, sing the body electric, though perhaps more forcefully than even Whitman. At least the guard didn't uh, find it suspicious that the door opened and closed while he was in there. And of course the other Prizrak is just sort of turning 90 degrees, so this should be an easy... Let's scroll down please. There we go. This should be an easy pickpock. And... Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go. Waste enough time. Tower defense games are a dime a dozen these days. But Kingdom Rush is the real deal. I wish I could tell you why, but I'm not a game designer. Well, I made a game one time, a game about a handsome, quiet guard who escapes from his horrible job. I call it Rogue Cooper. Rogue Cooper, Rogue Cooper doesn't sound like a bad game anyway. To that door. So I'll scroll over. Ah, there's the cameras. So 
something to trip on the wall if I wanted to, but don't think I do. Does not look like there's anyone around. Still trying to hit all the cameras for an achievement, so there's that at least. Alright, so let's go through the door. Duck in for a quick sec. There's a grate. What am I looking at? Okay, another small room to the south, if you want to call it that. So if I turn, okay, I'll go here because it doesn't look like anyone's patrolling in this area, which will make things easier and quicker. There's the door, and there's the camera I can connect to. All right, and another holding area. So, yeah. hit that camera, hit the other camera. Again, yeah, still got nothing to sell, so. I'm gonna just leave it be for now. Last month. A pre kale gun. Yeah, I've already seen that one. That's more than I can carry. <laughs> more P0 than I know what to do with, apparently. Okay, so at least we can get back out. Still no one around. easy to know where our next objective is. Oh, nope, need a screwdriver. All right. We'll have to be on the lookout for one then. Wait, did I hit these already? Yeah, I think I have. the door I just came from and doesn't look like there's anything for me to right, so we'll just go in oh, force Gussie the door. How are you out of your it had a hole I gave you a spare of execution and this is how you repay me right. yep Like my heart. That file is dead, and so help me. So are you when I get down there. Let me find my extinguisher. There must be something I can do. Um, but there is something I can do. All right, so get us before to... we can look to the future, we must look to the one who will lead us there. Okay, they want us to look at the clue, and I remember this puzzle from my last playthrough. Um, there's paintings on the wall, and they all just need to be facing towards that a plaque. civil engineer takes what is true, regardless of source, and puts it to use for safety and comfort. So you just hear it, hit the, I the gear icons. The unifies different industries under the banner of righteous service to promote the common good. So that wall should be done, and for the other side. Oh, I didn't 
need to move her. The neighborly policeman gives the children time to settle down, maintaining law and order with rare discipline. Wisely, the policy shows that serving the people is the path to sane obedience. Okay, fireplace did a little bit of something. The overseer secures the bonds between us all. Only let him serve. Let's get out of here before she shoots. you will be serving in return. Yep, and we got it. Get in there. And we should be safe. All right, and I think we should have some time to sort of look around a little bit. Why can't I pick that camera? Okay, can't get out that door. So we got all right, so this is where we upgrade the Omni View. I'll hold on to it. Make it easy for myself. One of the great terrors of literature is its ability to touch a reader's unspoken experience. But you understand, librarian. A republic requires peace between its citizens. Animal farm gives voice to bigoted trends we must erase. Its laws separate citizens into different body types. Those with two legs and four legs and wings. It's a short jump from this fiction to realizing that you've never liked the color of your neighbor's skin. This one belongs in a cage. All right, good. Cool. One more book for us to hold on to but I think we'll pause for the cause here because this will be a good starting point we'll upgrade our Omni view and continue on getting out of this republic or at least seeing what's down the road um, but no very cool hope you're enjoying it and if you are stick around because there will definitely be more to come I'll just talk about cages <laughs> anyway this has been Shin Virtuality game on, have fun, and I'll catch you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.